guys welcome back to another Sunday meal prep super excited to bring you out another video today I originally thought that I was gonna have to work today but I actually don't I am up and ready early it is before lunchtime I don't know my adrenaline's kind of been going or whatever I woke up super early today I actually had to wait on Charlie to finish his prep so that I could get started but that is okay I got to catch up and watch one of Roy's videos and just chill and sit on the couch with uh, Luna for a little while so now we are finally ready to get started on our meal prep today so for our meals today we are gonna do I picked easy meals because I thought that I was gonna have to work which I did explain in my weekly vlog grocery haul video but we're doing the Mexican meatloaf with the roasted sweet potatoes and the roasted vegetables and then we're gonna do taco bowls you can't hardly get any easier than those two meals especially the taco bowls um, those we will make uh, two different sets of taco meat Charlie is going to use ground beef for his I'm going to use ground turkey for mine it's very low points I think it comes out to two points per serving if you use the 100% lean ground turkey um, and then with that I will have corn and beans which are also zero points for me and then I love to make that into like two quesadillas during the week I just do that each night whenever we have that meal for the Mexican meatloaf, it is a higher point meal. It is kind of the opposite of the taco bowl because I do like to use the Jiffy Mix. It adds a lot of points and makes each muffin like three points each and then the potatoes on top of it. So it ends up to be like a 10 to 12 point meal depending on how many ounces of sweet potatoes I end up with. And we probably have a lot today because as you saw, we added a couple of more potatoes because the ones that Kroger gave us looked a little puny. But then it's like we may have too much. I might end up having to throw some in the freezer or whatever, but we will just see once we get there. Um, and then, of course, the vegetables will be zero. And then for dessert today, we're going to use one of the chocolate cake mixes, the sugar-free chocolate cake mixes with the Diet Dr. Pepper and make some delicious chocolate muffins. We do have some... Um, Charlie's dancing up here. I'm fixing to turn the camera around on him. <laughs> I'm like, that is distracting when I'm doing my intro. Uh, we do have some cans of Ready Whip. I have some of the coconut Ready Whip, and I think Charlie has some regular, probably left from Christmas, which might seem a little old. I hope that they're still good. I'm pretty sure the coconut one will be fine, but we need to kind of eat those up and get those cleaned out of the refrigerator. I hate looking and seeing stuff like that sitting there, and that's what made me think about it. Uh, I was going to do another thing of my chocolate cookies this week. But then I changed my mind and decided to go ahead and make one of these uh, chocolate sugar-free cake mixes with the Dot Dr. Pepper. It's such an easy recipe, and those muffins are so good, y'all. I promise. Even without the Ready Whip, just perfect by themselves. Now, Charlie likes to cut his in half and slather it with some ice cream. Did you get you some ice cream? No. Oh, you don't have ice cream for it, do you? I didn't even think about that. Oh, Charlie's out of ice cream. He used to eat ice cream all the time, but not so much now. But anyway... That is what is the plan for the day. We're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Like I said, I wanted fast meals, but you know, I've got that itch to go do a little shopping. Like I want to run to Marshalls and Home Goods today and maybe even get me a little nap this afternoon. I'm also working on my laundry. Um, I've already got one load in there that is pretty much done. I need to put it into the dryer. I go back and forth and swap out laundry as I kind of complete a meal and um, take a little break and do that. I think I have like three loads that I need to do today. So anyway, that is what is on the agenda. With all of that being said, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and give me a like. It really helps out my channel. I love you guys, and let's just roll right into the video. Alrighty, we are getting ready to start on our prep today. This is what Charlie has to prep. Since we are using ground turkey for my taco bowls, ground turkey for the meatloaf muffins, and ground beef for Charlie's taco bowls, there's no chicken or anything for him to prep today, so that is good. But he will have to dice up the sweet potatoes. Now, he ran to Kroger this morning. The dogs are actually at the groomers. They had a 9 o'clock appointment, so he went and got the things that was left out of the grocery haul. If y'all watch that, you know they did not have the lean ground turkey or his ham. And I think... The potatoes they had given us were like these potatoes, which kind of looked a little small. So he picked up two more potatoes. This may be too many, but we're going to go ahead and cook them all up today. He will dice those up into the little cubes, and then I will just season those with the pink Himalayan sea salt and the cinnamon. They are delicious. Love them. Then I have my bell peppers here. Y'all see him do this every week. These will be diced up for my 
uh, eggs and my pizzas and stuff. And then I have a beautiful tomato here for him to slice up for me for my sandwiches today. And then, of course, my cantaloupe and my pineapples. So not a whole lot of prep for him. It probably will just take a while for him to peel and dice up those potatoes. But no meat or anything to prep today. So let's roll into his prep now. That something, baby, that I can go without Just like a poison in me You're all that I'm about Loving the highs, don't mind the lows It's getting out of my control I want that something, baby Cause I can go without Mama used to tell me love ain't right If it ain't easy But I'm in too deep to walk away from you Papa used to tell me Alrighty guys, I did not film putting together my fruit bowls. I know y'all seen that a bunch, but I got them put together. They look delicious today. We have our normal pineapple, blueberries, and cantaloupe. As you saw, Charlie prepared for me. I have my seven containers of yogurt, my diced peppers for my eggs and pizzas this week, and then of course my tomato for my sandwiches. So, super excited, got that done. Now we're gonna move on to the potatoes, the veggies, and the Mexican meatloaf, and get that in the oven. That is an easy recipe and everything just cooks in the oven all at the same time. So let me put this away and I'll be right back. All right, we are getting ready to start on the Mexican meatloaf, which I'm gonna put this into 12 muffins as I usually do. You can make a regular meatloaf out of it, although I feel like my mixture is pretty runny, so it's easier to make it into muffins. And this recipe is one that is in the WW app. If you go in there and search under recipes, you can find Mexican meatloaf. The version they have is less points because they don't use the Jiffy Mix like I do. This adds a lot of extra points, but we've been eating it this way for years and love it. I've tried it the other ways, didn't like it. So this is one of those things, I will just spend more points on it to have it the way that I like it. But if you want lower points, then just search the one that's in the WW app under their recipes, and it comes out to, I think, three points per serving. Mine's gonna come out to eight points per serving. So it was six or seven, but now it's eight, so I don't know if something changed with personal points here nor there. I don't care. I've been eating it for years, and we love it. So we're going to use one pound of the lean ground turkey breast. We're going to use the full box of the Jiffy Mix. Uh, it calls for two egg whites. Eggs are zero for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just use two whole eggs. And then we are going to use chili powder and ground cumin. I think a half a teaspoon of each or something. I'm not really going to measure it. Y'all know how I am. Uh, and then we're going to use some red enchilada sauce and then a can of diced green chilies. It's real easy to mix together. We're going to throw it in the muffin tin and it's going to bake in the oven. Mm, let's see here. It says at 375 for an hour and so we basically will mix half of the enchilada sauce in and then like five minutes before it's done we take it out and then pour it on top of the muffins and then put it back in for like the last five minutes or so so along with that we are going to do sweet potatoes i'm going to season those up with just some olive oil spray some cinnamon and some pink himalayan sea salt 
Uh, this is a lot of potatoes. Like I said, we bought a couple of extras because the other ones look kind of puny. So we may have a little extra. Either Charlie's going to get a whole, whole lot in his serving this week or we will freeze some if we need to. Uh, and then here are the bird's eye, I think, California blend veggies. I've just already put them on this sheet pan, just lined with aluminum foil. And then this is the only thing that I am going to season this with. It makes them good, nice and spicy. I like to roast them in the oven. You don't have to dethaw them or anything. They, to me, they turn out perfect. And yes, look how low my seasoning is. But you know what? I have another. So we are good. Uh, I don't think that I will use all of this today. It is a possibility. We'll see how seasoned up I want it. But this will be a nice hearty meal this week and an easy one to throw together. So first of all, we're going to get started over here on the Mexican meatloaf and then we'll season up these other two and get it all in the oven at the same time. All right, we are ready to get started on the Mexican meatloaf. I went ahead and put my two eggs in. We are just going to go in with the ground turkey. And I am going to salt and pepper the turkey just a little bit. I'm not going to overdo it. The recipe doesn't call for it, but, you know, I just feel like everything needs to be seasoned so that it has flavor, especially when you're just doing 99% lean ground turkey. It literally has no flavor otherwise. So, there we go. We got that in there. We are going to go ahead and go in with our box of Jiffy Mix. There's really no particular order. I just literally mix all of this together and then scoop it into the 12 muffins. It's easy. Got our Jiffy Mix in there. Now I'm gonna open up my chilies and my enchilada sauce. Okay, so we are gonna go in. I think the recipe only calls for like a 10 ounce can or something of the enchilada sauce, which this one is, I can't read that. Uh, 19 ounce can so you really don't need all of this I'm just gonna go in with about that much that should be good and then we'll just top the rest um, again this was a substitution they did because they did not have the smaller cans in stock and so then we're gonna go in with the can of the green chilies and again it calls for some chili powder and ground cumin about a fourth of a teaspoon of each I'm just going to add some in there because y'all know I love this stuff. Can't get enough of it. I don't know why, but it's the best combination to me. Of course, I made a mess with the enchilada sauce. I just don't need to fool with that anymore because I obviously cannot open it without spilling it. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up well. I think that's mixed well enough. I'm just going to use my little ice cream scoop and scoop it into the 12 muffins. So the muffins are ready to go in the oven. I'm going to leave them here. We're going to move over and do the sweet potatoes and the veggies. And then they will all be ready to go in at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and season the veggies up. Just because I'm literally just going to sprinkle seasoning on here. And that way that will be done. This is pretty spicy. So if you don't like spicy stuff, then go light on it. Or, you know, you can do your own blend of seasonings of salt and pepper and garlic powder and whatever onion powder. Look, I did use all that. So hopefully that's enough. That's all I'm going to put on there. I don't want to open the other one and they will be ready to go in the oven just like that. Now for the sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray them really, really well with the olive oil spray. And then I'm going to do a lot of pink Himalayan sea salt and a lot of cinnamon. I'm going to stir them and then I'm going to do it all again. So we're just going to speed through this, but I'm going to do it twice.
all of this is ready to go in the oven all together. I've got it set for 375 degrees. Uh, about halfway through, I am going to stir up the potatoes, stir the um, vegetables up, and maybe swap the shelves at their own. And then at 55 minutes, I will take everything out and then put the rest of the enchilada sauce on top of the meatloaf muffins and then bake that for just an additional five minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven and then we will be back. All right, we have the meatloaf, the sweet potatoes, and the veggies all done out of the oven. Each of us are going to get two of the meatloaf muffins. And then I'm going to do probably five ounces of sweet potatoes in my containers, which are going to be the pink ones. And then Charlie is going to have the green, and I'm just going to put the excess in his. And then, of course, we will just divide the veggies evenly as we can. So the only thing I'm going to weigh out is my sweet potatoes once I get to that point. I'll go ahead and pop my muffins in here, which they just came out of the oven. They are hot. Okay, so I got the muffins in each one of the containers, and then we are just going to go in and measure out my sweet potatoes and again I'm just going to do five ounces for me and then Charlie will get the rest. Okay that's five ounces exactly. I'm going to go through and divide out the rest of these. Okay so Charlie has a ton of sweet potatoes but that is okay. He can eat whatever he needs to each night and if he can't finish it that is fine as well. Uh, but we are going to just divide the veggies equally. Alrighty, we've got the Mexican meatloaf, the sweet potatoes, and the veggies all divided out. These are Charlie's up here, y'all. He will never be able to finish these plates. It is so full of sweet potatoes and of veggies, but again, he gets all of the excess. Lucky him. And then here is mine. Uh, I am piled up with veggies pretty well, but uh, five ounces of sweet potatoes and then the two meatloaf muffins. So this is done. Now we will move on to the taco bowls. All right, guys, we are getting ready to start on our taco bowls. Again, Charlie is going to use this ground beef. It is 93.7, so not too bad. I'm going to use the uh, lean ground turkey from Publix here. We are going to each use half a packet of taco seasoning in our meat. So we'll have half a packet of hot and spicy and half a packet of original. And then we will also split the Frontera taco sauce. I don't know if I'll add any additional ground cumin uh, or chili powder or not. I'm sure I will once we get down to it. And then we're just going to drain and rinse the black beans and the whole kernel corn and just line the bowls. So really it is just cooking up the meat and plating it up in the bowl. And Charlie is going to do his. He has his pan over there. I've got mine here. I think I'm going to set you up on the counter instead of like on the big camera behind us so that you're not just looking at our backs. We'll see how that works. But we're going to get started and... I'm going to drain the beans and the corn and kind of get that set to the side, and then we'll get started on the meat. Okay, guys, we are both here. Here's Charlie. He's going to cook his. He's getting started. We're just going to get started on our ground meat and get that brown first. Of course, I'm using the turkey, and of course, we are salting and peppering. Oh, yeah, I guess it would have to be turning the thing on. Huh? I'm really bad about forgetting to turn the stove on sometimes when I'm filming. I'll think, why isn't it cooking? <laughs> the stove's not even on. So this part will take a couple of minutes. We'll be back once it is browned. All right, guys. So the turkey is brown. Charlie's ground beef is too. He is draining the grease off of it. That's one thing you never have to worry about with the lean ground turkey. So we are going to go in with half of the Frontera sauce, and then Charlie will get the other half. And then... I'm going to use half a packet of the original Taco Bell seasoning, and then Charlie will get the other half of that as well. Same thing for the hot and spicy, so there's yours. See, Charlie's putting water in his. He likes his taco meat wet. I like to get the, um, the powdery sauce mix to actually mix it in. Well, it mixes with the Frontera sauce. He's really uh, Juice. I want my wet meat. All right, that's looking pretty good. I am going to just put just a little dash of my ground cumin and chili powder in there. Did you want to add any to yours? Sure. All right, I'm going to give you a close up. This is getting close to being done already. Again, this is a super quick prep. There's Charlie's sizzling away over there. Mine's starting to stick a little bit. Now he will let his simmer for a while, but mine's pretty much done. I don't really want to overcook the turkey. I know I like everything well done, but 
it's really dry since there's no fat in it. So I'm just going to probably turn it down on low and let it sit for a minute. I've already started plating up our, let me turn that down. I've already started plating up our corn and then I'm just going to do the beans as well. And then we will be ready to put our taco meat in. All right. So mine is ready. I am just going to plate it up. I already have my beans and corn in here. This, in my opinion, is one of the easiest preps. You can make taco salad. You can eat them just like this. You can make quesadillas, which is what I will do on the nights that we have it. You can eat it with some Tostitos chips. Uh, whatever you want to do. It's very versatile, very easy. This would be good for lunch. It ends up to be two points for this meal for me because beans and corn are zero for me. If they're not for you, then you would want to count them. But voila, there we go. I got mine plated up. Charlie's is almost done. All right, here are the completed taco bowls. These are Charlie's here in the front with the ground beef and then mine with the ground turkey. So again, we love this meal. It's so easy, so delicious, so filling. Um, highly recommend. Now let's make our chocolate muffins. All right, guys. So real quick, we are going to make the chocolate muffins. All you need is one sugar-free devil's food uh, chocolate cake mix and one bottle of Diet Dr. Pepper. Those are the only two ingredients and they make perfect moist muffins. So let's throw it together and get them in the oven. I have everything ready here. I think the only thing I need to grab is a spoon, but we are just going to literally dump the cake mix in and the Diet Dr. Pepper. All right, so I got my cake mix in. Now we are going in with our Diet Dr. Pepper. You could use Diet Coke, you could use Diet Cherry Coke, whatever you wanted to use. I've just always used the Diet Dr. Pepper and they're delicious. I'm going to save just a little bit of it just in case I don't need that much. Sometimes I use all of it, sometimes I don't. So I am going to go ahead and put the rest in there because I can tell it's probably going to need it. Okay, I think that is mixed well. It's looking good. I don't know who came up with this idea, but so thankful that they did because they make perfect muffins. I think they are three points each. And I've already sprayed my muffin tin with the Baker's Joy spray. So all I need to do is fill them up. Okay, there we go. They are ready to go in the oven. I have it preheated to 350, I think for about 15 to 17 minutes or so. So let's get them in there and then we will be done for the day. Alrighty, here are the chocolate muffins fresh out of the oven. I did end up cooking them for 18 minutes because they still seemed way too soft. So uh, I did 350, 18 minutes on them. Uh, they might have been able to cook for another minute or two, but I think they're good. I'm just going to let them sit here for about five minutes or so before I take them out of the pan. All right, all right, we finally finished another Sunday meal prep. This was an easy one, but still got a massive spread of food here, just like normal. So I am going to do my turkey sandwiches this week. So I have my containers of fruit ready to go with those. And of course, I'll eat that with pizza as well. I think it's a great side considering it is zero points for me. This is my hearty meal for the week. Charlie's especially. He's got tons of extra sweet potatoes in all of his. Uh, I measured out five ounces in mine. And then we each have two of the pieces of meatloaf and then just split the veggies equally. So I think this will come out to 12 or 13 points for me. So again, that is a higher point meal. But if if you follow the Mexican meatloaf recipe that is actually in the WWF because it is a Weight Watchers recipe, it is lower in points. But I like the Jiffy Mix. We've tried other ways. We're just used to it this way. I've eaten it for years. Never had an issue. Going to stick with it that way. Uh, over here are our taco bowls. This one is mine with the ground turkey. Charlie's has the ground beef. Um, I love these. These are so versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with them. Highly recommend. I will eat two quesadillas with mine on each night that we have those. Here are the chocolate muffins. Uh, we literally just pulled them out of the oven, so they are still resting before I take them out and put them in the container. But we wanted to go ahead and close out the video and get everything put away. So excited about those this week. And then, of course, I have my breakfast prepped. Now, lots of times I get questions on what do you do for your breakfast. So to make one serving, one serving of eggs, it's two eggs, 150 grams of egg whites, a splash of almond milk, salt and pepper, I saute some diced peppers in the skillet and scramble the eggs. That's it. Okay. And then two pieces of bacon. And then I just cook my bacon in the microwave and it always comes out nice and straight and crispy. 
Highly recommend cooking it that way. Very easy. Pretty much you cook it about a minute per slice. When you cook a lot of pieces at once, you kind of go down a little bit, but overall, if you're cooking two or three, it's about a minute per slice. So that's how I do my breakfast. I don't like filming making like a huge batch of eggs. It's kind of messy. And so I just kind of do it off camera in between cooking the other things. But with all of that being said, I have completed another successful meal prep. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another Sunday meal prep. Today was probably one of the easiest preps that I have done. Like I said in the beginning, I thought that originally I was going to be working today, so I picked stuff that would be super easy. Um, all of these meals are delicious, including the chocolate uh, cupcakes or muffins. I'm not sure. I watched Roy's carrot cake uh, muffin video this morning, and I can't remember what he said the difference was. So, Roy, you can clarify, are these cupcakes or muffins? Because I use the cake mix. I guess it would make them cupcakes. Anywho, uh, they are delicious nonetheless. And, again, the taco bowls and the Mexican meatloaf. Y'all know we make those all the time, but we love them. Highly recommend. And if you have made it all the way to the end and you're one of my Jennifer's Gems, I really do appreciate you guys. I love you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to click that red subscribe button down below and give me a like. It really helps out my channel. I love you guys. I will see you all in the next video.